Hi, this is cycle two, week three science. This is experiment uh, number nine, see through in Van Cleve's book. This is a good experiment uh, that answers the practical question of if some of the planets are surrounded by rings, most famously Saturn, how can we uh, actually observe the planet itself? For that matter, how can we observe the planets that are past the, the asteroid belt? in the solar system. How can we observe them if there's things that are in our way? Uh, so the asteroid belt is made up of asteroids, right? Pieces of rock and ice that, that are suspended there uh, in space. The, the rings of Saturn are primarily made up of ice and, and small bits of rock uh, and, and rotating around. And other planets have rings as well. How can we actually look through all of that, those, those solid things, and see the actual planet or see lo what lies beyond the asteroid belt? That's our question uh, for today. Uh, and so in order to, to uh, answer that question then, uh, we want to build something. So there's a little bit of, of pre-work that's involved. You should um, use your best judgment with the age of your kids uh, and sort of how crafty they are uh, to determine um, whether or not they can do this in class uh, or whether you should do all of it before a class or maybe maybe some mix. Um, the, the, the materials that you need are a piece of poster board, uh, thumbtack, uh, a pencil with an eraser and uh, some markers. It's, it's really important that the markers have different um, widths, right? So this is a fine tip uh, Sharpie and then this is a much broader uh, tipped uh, marker. I'm just using black. You could use other colors uh, as well. And then uh, with the poster board what you want to then construct are uh, three pieces that are approximately one inch wide and about six inches long. And so a ruler, or I'm using this protractor, um, either one is helpful um, for making them. So that when you're done with the construction, what you're making are things that look like this. So you want something that's about six inches long, it's about one inch wide, and then you want to create a pattern on it. Uh, you don't want to make one, you in fact want to make three of them. And so the easiest way to do that is, is really to, to, to create, you know, to sort of mark out the, the area of what you're trying to make on your poster board and then just draw your lines across it so that when you're done, after you've made three separate ones, um, if you can line them up, what's important then is that the patterns are in the same place. Uh, and of course, uh, they're not going to be exact depending on how it was cut, but, but you, can, you can see the idea. And that's an important part of what we're trying to do. So again, for the older kids, I might let them do that during class. Um, some of the younger kids, maybe you want to have the areas marked out and let them create the patterns themselves. Um, and then you could cut them out however you want to do it. Um, the other important part about the patterns is that they be in, in straight lines. You don't want anything curved. You don't want uh, dotted lines or anything like that. But then once you have your, your three pieces, what you, what um, Van Cleef suggests in the book is that you um, overlay them, over, overlay them, make a little bit of a flower type shape, and then glue them together. Overlay them so that the, that the patterns are approximately um, equidistant from the center. I haven't glued these together. I'm just putting them through for this demonstration. I'm just putting them through. But, but after they're glued together, or, or, or if not, um, the experiment works, works well if you don't, but you want to put um, the thumbtack through each one in the center. Okay. So from there, then I want to create a pattern, a, pin, a, a flower shaped pattern that looks like that. And I, I take my thumbtack and I very carefully put it into the eraser. Put it into the eraser like this. And now what the students could do is they can, as they're looking down on it, they can take, take the, the, the device they've constructed and put it between their hands, and now they can roll it, and they can spin it. And so as they spin it quickly, a couple of things, a couple of questions to ask. What do you see? So what the students see appears to be black circles. They, they appear to see black circles uh, moving, and there are two, in this particular pattern, there are two thick black circles and one thin black circle. Also, they can see through the material. They can see, they can see um, as they're looking down, they can see their hands that are rotating uh, uh, ben behind the circles, as it were. And that simulates very much um, the pattern, uh, of, so for example, of Saturn's rings. And so we're able then, 
we, then when we're looking at it like this, we, we see the key piece. So the reason we're able to see through the ring is because there's actually quite a bit of open space. I mean, th these are actually relatively thick, right? And so there's, but there's open space here. When we're thinking about something like Saturn's rings, we're talking about rocks and pieces of ice that are much smaller. And so there's actually a vast amount of open space. So it's very easy for us, in fact, to see through them um, as those things are moving uh, around the planet of Saturn. Uh, maybe if you want to, to, to really sort of step it up a notch, this is what the students should do. And this is the experiment um, and, and how, how they can see it. If you want to, 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 to step it up, I totally suggest a cordless drill. So if you take a cordless drill, no, no bit, right? no bit, I can, Load my pencil in, tighten it carefully, and give it one good tight, and now we can take it and we can really spin it. <laughs> and so the students very clearly see those black lines, and they can also very clearly see the drill, and they can clearly see the person uh, operating the drill. Uh, this is a fun experiment. It's very hands-on, um, and, and it's good for them to think about. Um, how they can, how we can see through, um, we don't of course see through literal solid objects, but solid objects that are grouped together with a, a great deal of empty space around them, we are able to see through them uh, as they're in motion and as they're moving. And the ultimate shape and, and the banding pattern of Saturn's rings uh, is, is just like this. It occurs because they're grouped together into to patterns that our eyes see. They are, as they're in motion, um, the, the lines are, are actually being blended um, by our eyes and so our brain interprets them as a solid line as one color, especially when it's moving fast, like for example, um, with, with the drill bit. It's a good practical experiment. Everyone um, can do it and, and it's a lot of fun. This is uh, cycle two, week three science, experiment number nine in Van Cleve's book, See Through It.